Saturday morning, it's time for us to talk technology as we open the experts program with our tech expert, Luis Alvarez, here on Power Talk Radio, 1460 and 101 FM. Luis, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Mark. How are you today? Doing pretty good. By the way, today, May 18th of 2024, it is Armed Forces Day. Oh, and that's awesome. A, and that's a day for everyone to fly their flag, and it is a day that we pay tribute, and we say thank you to active duty military. And it's always important to know the differences between between them because another week or so we have Memorial Day right. and uh, Memorial Day is not a day to thank veterans and it's not a day to thank active duty but a lot of people make that mistake but today today is the day you see a sailor an airman or uh, an army guy or a marine around town today is the day to thank them for their service officially I guess is the way to put it yeah pay for their coffee when you see them at Starbucks next there you go all righty and uh, Lewis let's talk a little technology here we've got an interesting story about uh, chat GPT and it's something called, was it GPT-40 or 4.0, which is a, uh, a game changer? It's actually, yeah, GPT-4.0, or, mm-hmm. or like the letter O, and it stands mm-hmm. for Omni. Everybody's been expecting, you know, OpenAI to come out with their next-gen language model, GPT-5, at some point. But right now, the headlines are being uh, taken over by, you know, Microsoft's Copilot and other, like Meta released their AI on all of their platforms. So OpenAI has been kind of quiet, but they surprised everybody earlier this week when they released an incremental update called GPT-4 Omni. And the new version is really a, an update to their existing one, but it brings some really interesting capabilities that GPT-4 didn't have. So for example, it does real-time voice interactions, so you can actually have conversations with it. It has more accurate responses and can actually be able to tell what, what people's moods are based on their facial expressions. So it's, it's a real big update to GPT-4. And for for most people, it's available free because if you sign up with a free account, you can go to OpenAI's uh, webpage and get access to it. So are you able to program it to give you particular responses that you want? So, th- Like if you're having a conversation, like say a pre-scripted conversation? Not really, because it's designed to be basically interactive. Now, you can feed it. It can recite phrases and things that you write. And you, know, you can say, hey, read this line or read this paragraph. But really, the value is in being being able to essentially ask it questions and be able to get responses that are not just links to websites, right? We're used to that when we go to search engines and we just put in a, uh, what's the best Mexican food near me? All right. But with ChatGPT, you can say, hey, what are the best Mexican restaurants around me? And, and tell me something about them. And it'll give you not only the restaurants, but why they're considered that the top of the list and that maybe that it takes into account reviews from TripAdvisor or OpenTable or something else that it read. And it it curates all that information and presents it to you in a very uh, natural way. But now it can actually read it to you rather than just putting it on the screen. So it's a big innovation, something that many of the other large language models like uh, Microsoft's Copilot have had in place for a bit. So they're just starting to catch up. And now everybody's excited about seeing what's the next release that GPT-5 going to do when it gets released uh, probably later this year. That'll be fascinating. So what I was thinking about how you could use something like this in radio, I can remember I I worked with guy many, many years ago who was, um, he had worked in LA. He was a really talented DJ, very funny guy. And he had character voices that he would do. And he would have running conversations with these character voices. And the way he would execute that is he would go into the recording studio, like he'd come up with like a conversation with a punchline. He'd go into the recording studio and sit down and he would record the character voices responses or queries on like a cartridge tape, look like an eight track. And Mm -hmm. there might be five or six responses on it. Then you take that tape back, put it in the machine, and then live, you're doing the conversation. And when it's time for the response, you punch the start button on the machine and it plays that sentence. It stops before the next one. And that's how you do this conversation. And it was really clever. And when you were listening, it was that whole kind of theater of the mind that this this guy's having a, a conversation with someone and you forget that, wait a minute, that's a voice that he made up, that he did himself. And he conceived this whole thing. And I could see if it would be possible to do something like that in this modern era with, say, chat GPT with a character that you create and you pre-feed all those lines to it. And Mm -hmm. it just becomes like a keystroke on a computer that you play back as you're having the conversation. Could be like, I'm just wondering if you can eventually use chat GPT that way. Probably. I mean, I, you know, right now you can do things 
things like, say, in the voice of Ryan Reynolds, tell me a joke, or in the voice of Ryan Reynolds, write a poem for my wife's birthday. Right. It will do that for you because it knows, it has enough public information about Ryan Reynolds to know how Ryan Reynolds speaks and, and how he writes. And so you can eventually see that becoming where it can be able to, to duplicate somebody's voice if it's allowed to, because of course there's a lot of issues around uh, copyright protection and trademark infringement, things like that. But we'll have to get over that at some point. But it's really an interesting tool. And I encourage everybody to check it out either by going to OpenAI's website or even using a Bing Copilot, which is actually powered by ChatGPT. Well, this is fascinating. I mean, I can, I can just see how people could have fun with this. For example, one of your employees at the Alvarez Technology Group, they could like, you know, use your voice to create a chat GPT that would say they'd call the bookkeeper right before mm-hmm. payday and say, hey, this is Lewis. I want you to give everybody a 25% increase in pay starting immediately. Well, they, they know that that wouldn't be me because I'm not that generous. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the possibilities are endless. Endless, absolutely. <laughs> well, this is going to be kind of interesting to watch and see how it all goes. And uh, have you played around with this yourself? Oh, yeah. I, I use it all the time. I have a Microsoft Copilot for M365, which is built into Outlook and Word and Excel. And it's a great tool to help you doing things like composing uh, press releases or letters, responding to emails. Uh, sometimes I'll get an email and it'll summarize it for me and say, do you want me to try to formulate a response? And I'm like, sure. And it's a pretty good draft response. I do a little bit of editing and and off it goes, but it saves me a lot of time. Oh, that'll be great. All right. Well, this bold new frontier that's been opened with AI and it's going to continue and we'll uh, we'll stay on top of this. Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, has been our guest this morning online. You'll find them at AlvarezTG.com. The X handle, not Twitter, but it's X, (laughs) is uh, at AlvarezTG. And Luis, the toll-free number for the I-Team. Give us a call at 866-78-ITEAM. That's 866-784-8326. And looking ahead to Monday the 20th, uh, what are we going to be talking about? Well, you're going to find out that pretty soon, if they get their way, Apple and Meta and other tech companies will be reading your mind. So tune in to learn more. All right. That starts at 830 Monday morning right here on Power Talk Radio. Thank you so much, Lewis. Enjoy the weekend, and we'll chat again next Friday. You too. Take care, my friend.